So we're back for step two. We've got the uh, pickaxe all wired up. And now we need to create a circuit which allows us to download programs from the program editor into our pickaxe. Um, there are a couple of really easy ways to do this. Uh, one in particular would be to uh, just get a ready-made kit which will plug right into a breadboard and uh, which will allow us to download programs. Um, or we could kind of do it the hard way, which is what we're doing with all this stuff. And take um, your standard eighth inch stereo audio jack and wire on, solder on three different leads to it. And then figure out how to create a circuit uh, which allows us to communicate with the pickaxe. Now, if you're following along with the how to's, there is actually um, a really nice little um, download schematic for this circuit. No, I was going to say download schematic, uh, circuit schematic for this, which tells us what each leg of the um, the male audio jack and bear with me here I'm just grabbing some stuff as I do this goes to so so here's here's that guy right there and I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up my, uh, my little camera feed again and each of these legs goes to a specific pin all right so if you were to take a look once again at that schematic you would see what they, they divide it up into the the A B and C um, A if I'm to follow this along, goes to the serial out pin. B goes to serial in. And C just goes to ground. All right, so, all right, let me just pull this up again. So here we go. So here's our guys here. And each of these goes to a specific pin on the pickaxe. Or in fact, one just goes to, uh, to ground over here. Uh, or across ground over here, because these are both ground. We know that because we extended these power bus rails so without further ado, let's take a look at how we're actually going to do this. So I've taken and I've, I've wired some leads on here, right? Let me just pull that cam feed up again. So I know that when I plug this into the audio jack, that connections are going to mate with certain pins. So I'm literally going to just take this, and you, know, you really can't see all this, but I'm going to plug this in like so. I'm going to take a look on the back side of this, and I'm going to figure out which connections actually go to which. Um, and I can tell you right now, I'm going to just do this one by one. I can tell that this wire right here goes to the base leg, or the um, what they have labeled as A, and A is serial out. And if I take a further look at the schematic, I can see that serial out doesn't require any resistor whatsoever. Um, serial out just goes right to the serial out pin. So if I'm to take a look at my little handy dandy uh, pin out diagram once again, I'm going to see that the serial out pin is actually C.3 or the second pin down on this side. And I'm literally just going to put that right, right in there. And now I've got one done. And this is what I meant when I said, you know, the hip bones connected to the leg bone. Um, we don't need to be electronics wizards, we just need to go one at a time and sort of just, you know, be careful about what we're doing here. So I'm going to pull up that download circuit once again, if I can find it. And I know that one of these just went right to ground, um, which was C, and C is whatever connection here meets with the tip. So I'm going to put this in here again, and I can see that that is indeed this wire right here. And I'm going to put that guy right directly into oop, get in there ground now I've look at that I've, I've got two done now right now the third one is a little bit more complicated um, because there's a couple of resistors involved and what the schematics actually telling me is is that this requires a 22k resistor and then in between the two a 10k resistor which runs to ground now I've got both of those resistors sitting here um, and now I'm going to kind of utilize the nice part about a breadboard, which it makes things very easy to prototype or create for the first time. Um, so let's see what pin that actually is on the pickaxe. That would be the serial in pin, is the only one we haven't done, which leads to the B connector or the middle connector. It's the one wire that we have left. Um, so I'm going to go back to my pin out, if I can find it. There it is. And I'm going to see that the serial in pin, or C.4, is the third pin down on this side. And of course, I know what side that is because I've taken, taken note of the, uh, the notch here. 
So I, I have some orientation. So what I'm going to do is, that's the third pin. I'm going to go from here. I have a 22K resistor in my grubby fingers. And I'm going to put that in there. And now bear in mind, so I've got that running here. And what that essentially does, because it's a breadboard, is I've jumped the circuit all the way across this row over here. Right? So I can take that right here, put him here. But there's one more resistor involved. And that resistor, according to the schematic, ties this all to ground. So, and that's a 10K resistor. I have one right here. I've done this before. Frankly, too many times before at this point. And I'm going to very carefully make sure that, eventually, that I move that from this same row at some point. Hope you guys aren't impatient. To ground. And then I'm going to move this whole thing very carefully over this way so I can actually use it. And I'm going to pull it aside a bit so you can see what I've just done. And what I've just done is essentially very simple. I've uh, very carefully followed the schematic. I've traced out which of these wires mates with which part of the connector for the audio jack and in turn uh, which goes to what pin on the pickaxe and that's all sitting there right in front of you on the pinout. So I knew that this pin required a 22k resistor that needed to be tied by a 10k resistor to ground in between these wires. So I just jumped it over this way. God, I love breadboards. And we made that. The other, This one right here went straight to ground. Again, look at the schematic. And this guy right here goes to the second pin in, which is right here. And that is literally all of our download circuit. In just a second, I'm going to test that. But that's that part right for now. Hope that made sense.